Below is a list of Inferno hidden truth and facts you probably don't know. For the scenes when Robert has the visions, the Blood Rivers were not completely digital. VFX used 9,000 liters of fake blood made with sugar. Just a few weeks before the release of this film, Dan Brown announced the new book in the Robert Langdon series titled Origin. It is expected to be released in September 2017. Something similar happened when Angels and Demons, 2009, was released. But in that case, a book was released months after the film, which was the lost symbol. None of the movies in the Robert Langdon saga have been produced in the order that their corresponding novels by Dan Brown were released. The Da Vinci Code, 2006, was made first, but adapted from the second book. Angels and Demons, 2009, was the second movie to be released, but adapted from the first book. Inferno is the third film to be adapted, but from the fourth book in the series, the third book, The Lost Symbol, remains unproduced because the studio preferred to adapt Inferno instead. In comparison to The Da Vinci Code, 2006, and Angels and Demons, 2009, where the music was mostly orchestral with a few cues of electronic music. This film has a heavier electronic content. The music of the three films was composed by Hans Zimmer. The reason why a sequel took so long to be released was because Sony wanted to film The Lost Symbol, but the production of that adaptation became too complicated as Ron Howard preferred to only produce it rather than directing it and Tom Hanks would not be returning as Professor Robert Langdon. In the end, the production took too long that the novel Inferno was released in 2013 and Sony decided to produce that adaptation instead and most of the crew of the previous films returned, including Ron Howard as director and Tom Hanks reprising his role as the main character. Today, the Lost Symbol production status remains halted. Tom Hanks briefly left filming in the middle of production in May 2015 to fly back to New York to appear as one of David Letterman's final two guests on Late Show with David Letterman, 1993. At 121 minutes long, this is the shortest film in the trilogy. The opening weekend generated $50 million in 53 international markets. This became Sony's second best international opening in October. This film is the second sequel to be directed by Ron Howard. While filming Angels and Demons, 2009, he declared he does not like to direct sequels. However, he considered the books not as sequels but as standalone stories. Inferno, 2016, had a budget of $75 million, which was much lower than the first two installments. In July 2013, Sony set the film for a December 18, 2015, release. However, due to the date clash with Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, 2015, the release date was moved from December 18, 2015, to October 14, 2016. In early 2016, the release date was moved to October 28, 2016. Initially, the third book, The Lost Symbol, was going to be produced without Ron Howard directing, but in 2013, the fourth book, Inferno, was released and Sony Pictures bought the rights and decided to produce Inferno, 2016, instead. Inferno, 2016, is the fifth collaboration between Tom Hanks and director Ron Howard. A car used by World Health Organization WHO, members has the plate number 666 P2, which is to say the number of the beast, plus a reference to the Italian Freemason Lodge P2. Omar Sy and Irfan Khan were also in Jurassic World, 2015, together with Bryce Dallas Howard, the daughter of director Ron Howard. This film marks composer Hans Zimmer's sixth collaboration with director Ron Howard. In comparison with the previous two films that focused more on solving codes and riddles and religious against science situations, Inferno, 2016, focuses more on moral dilemmas, global diseases, memory loss and character development. Inferno, 2016, and Angels and Demons, 2009, 
would be Tom Hanks' only live-action sequels at the time the film was released. This is the only film in the trilogy to be released in IMAX. On Conan, Ron Howard jokingly admitted to filming the underwater climax scene last in case Tom Hanks were to get injured. In this film, Sienna is British. In Angels and Demons, 2009, Vittoria is Italian and in The Da Vinci Code, 2006, Sophie is French. Inferno, 2016, marks Tom Hanks's third time playing Professor Robert Langdon. The first was in The Da Vinci Code, 2006, and the second was in Angels and Demons, 2009. Additionally, all three films were directed by Ron Howard. This movie ends with Hans Zimmer's Life Must Have Its Mysteries soundtrack, which is very similar to Chevalier's De Sangriel, the ending soundtrack of The Da Vinci Code, 2006, which was also composed by Zimmer. This is the only film of the trilogy to be shot with the 1.85, one widescreen aspect ratio, as well as the only one to be shot digitally. French actor Omar Sy accidentally fell into a canal in Venice during his first scenes. This is the second collaboration between Sid Spapit Nodson and Tom Hanks to be released in 2016. The first was a hologram for the King, 2016. The conspiracy theory that resonates with this film is called Agenda 21. Filming began on April 27, 2015 in Venice, Italy and continued in Florence, Italy, starting at the end of April. Much of the film, and the book from which it is based on, draws major parallels from Dante Alighieri's masterwork Inferno, hence the title of the piece in the Italian setting. Months before the release of this film, composer Hans Zimmer played, on his live tour around Europe, the film's new theme titled Life Must Have Its Mysteries, along with the themes from The Da Vinci Code. 2006, and Angels and Demons, 2009. This is the only Robert Langdon film in which the screenplay was not written by Akiva Goldman. Inferno, 2016, was released 10 years after The Da Vinci Code, 2006, the first film in the trilogy. Four actors in this film all played characters in Marvel comic movies. Ben Foster was in X-Men, The Last Stand. 2006, as Warren Worthington III, Angel, as well as Spacker Dave in The Punisher, 2004, Omar Sy was in X-Men, Days of Future Past, 2014, as Bishop, Felicity Jones was in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, 2014, as Felicia Hardy, and Irfan Khan was in The Amazing Spider-Man, 2012, as Rajat Ratha, Norman Osborn's right-hand man. Tom Hanks is the only actor to appear in all three films of the trilogy. Alfred Molina appeared twice, playing Bishop Piringarosa in The Da Vinci Code, 2006, and voicing the narrator in Angels and Demons, 2009. Professor Robert Langdon has a Mickey Mouse watch in this movie. Tom Hanks, Professor Langdon, played Walt Disney in the film Saving Mr. Banks, 2013. This is the second film in which Robert Langdon and company are pursued by police forces or organizations. The first was in The Da Vinci Code, 2006. This is the second film where Robert Langdon is in Italy, with the first film being Angels and Demons, 2009. This is the first film in the franchise to be released in the fall. All of the previous installments were released in the summer. In the Latin American dub of this film, Tom Hanks was voiced by Mario Castaneda, a very well-known dubbing actor for voicing Son Goku in the Dragon Ball series in the Latin American version. Castaneda has voiced actors Jim Carrey and Bruce Willis also, and he voiced Tom Hanks in Angels and Demons, 2009. Two actors from this film played characters in other films that focus on being lost at sea. Tom Hanks was in Castaway, 2000 and Irfan Khan was in Life of Pi, 2012. Spoilers. The trivia items below may give away important plot points. Elizabeth Sinsky tells Langdon that Xabras suggested mass sterilization as a solution to the overpopulation problem. This is, in fact, what happens in the novel. 
Langdon and Sienna, who is not a villain in the book, fail to contain the virus, which was actually released sometime in the preceding week. The deadline stated by Zobrist was actually the date at which the entire population would be infected. However, it is revealed that Inferno doesn't kill people. Instead, it triggers a DNA modification that randomly makes one-third of the population infertile. In the film, Sienna betrays Robert and she happens to be Zobrist's lover and wants to continue his work by releasing the virus. In the end, she dies by trying to release the virus. In the book, she also betrays Robert and is Zobrist's lover too, but instead she wants to retrieve the bag with virus and destroy it before the World Health Organization, WHO, arrives first because she does not trust them, fearing they will use it as a weapon. In the end, neither Sienna nor the WHO manages to retrieve the bag and Sienna, reluctantly, joins the WHO to find a cure. In the book, it is revealed that Sienna, who is later revealed to be a villain in the film, abandoned her first name, Felicity, as a child. In the movie, she is played by actress Felicity Jones. During location filming, its production code name was Headache, which may be a reference to a concussion suffered by Robert Langdon early in the story. In the book, Robert Langdon mentions that the Vatican hates him after the events of both the books The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. In the film, Christoph Bouchard turns out to be a traitor and wants to retrieve the virus to sell it. In the book, he is named Christopher Bruder and this plot point never happens. He remains an agent of the World Health Organization, WHO. In every movie in the Robert Langdon series, someone who initially acted as protagonist is revealed to be one of the masterminds behind the conspiracy, and has even been using Robert Langdon, Tom Hanks to further their own agenda. In The Da Vinci Code, 2006, it was Sir Teabing, Ian McKellen, in Angels and Demons, 2009, it was Camerlango McKenna, Ewan McGregor, and in Inferno, it is Sienna Brooks, Felicity Jones. In the book, Vantha is ordered by the consortium to retreat after Robert hides at the Palazzo Vecchio, but she is later expelled. However, to prove she is capable of doing the job, she continues to search Robert and intends to actually kill him. In the film, she is ordered by the consortium to shoot and actually kill Robert when he hides at the Palazzo Vecchio. In both versions, she dies the same way. In the book, the character Sienna Brooks suffered from physical and mental illness when she was younger and, as a result, is supposed to be completed bald. She is also supposed to wear a blonde wig which she gives to Robert in one scene as a disguise. The imagery highlights the character's duplicitous nature. In the movie, this character background was not included. Instead, Sienna Brooks is not bald and is in fact a brunette. This is the only film where we see a love interest for Robert. In the books, the only love interest he has had was Dr. Vittoria Vetta at the end of the book. In the next books, they broke up but apparently still has contact with her. This is the only film in the trilogy where a girl that accompanies Robert turns out to be one an antagonist. In the book, Sienna has a crush on Robert for a moment. This was cut from the film. The majority of the film was shot in Hungary for budgetary reasons, most noticeably the airport scenes and the meeting between Sims and the World Health Organization, WHO which took place in the now-defunct Farahaj Airport Terminal 1 that was shut down in 2012 as a result of the bankruptcy of Malay, the Hungarian National Aviation Company. In the scene where Robert and Sienna are running from Vanta in the Hall of the 500, Robert mentions that he is claustrophobic. In The Da Vinci Code, 2006, his claustrophobia is cured by Sophie in a part of the film and in Angels and Demons, 2009. He walks between a stretch corridor and he seems to be all right. His claustrophobia in Inferno, 2016, may have come back in some time before the events of the film. In the book, he is still claustrophobic. In all three films of the trilogy, Robert Langdon is seen falling into some kind of water system. In The Da Vinci Code, 2006, he falls into a well during his childhood. In Angels and Demons, 2009, 
he gets into a fountain to save a cardinal from drowning. In this film, he falls into a cistern to help prevent a major catastrophe from happening. This is the first film of the trilogy where we see Robert fighting fist to fist with another character. In the film, Ignacio only disappears after the night he and Robert steal the mask. In the book, he dies from a heart attack just some moments after Robert is kidnapped. In the film, the provost rescues Robert from Bouchard and explains that everything was fake. He also accompanies the World Health Organization, WHO, to find the virus and is killed by Sienna. In the book, Robert is caught by Bruder and the WHO. The provost explains some part of the event and later is arrested, and the consortium is decimated. In the book, Robert confesses to Sienna how Vantha found the mature apartment, which was by using Sienna's laptop. In the film, she never knows this. In the book, there is a comedic moment when Sienna and Robert disguise as rocksters to avoid being seen by the carabinieri when they escape from Palazzo Vecchio. However, this scene was not included in the film. Body Count, 7. Irfan Khan's character is called the Provost only in the book. In the film, he is called something similar to that name, but also was given another name, Harry Sims. In the book, the company Sienna and Vantha work for is called the Consortium. In the film, it is only referred to as the Global Security Consortium. A character that appears in the book, Jonathan Ferris, was cut from the film. In the book, he impersonates the doctor that Vantha seemingly killed at the beginning and later he helps Robert and Sienna to travel to Venice after he finds them at the Florence Baptistry, and for a moment. Sienna believes he has the virus and that he was Zobrist's lover. He also worked for the consortium. The Inferno Facts and Truths